Talk Radio 1290. Talk Radio 1290, a very controversial talk show host because he was conservative. What ever happened? I don't think it has changed very much from that time. Until so now. political if correct. You have, yeah, Natalie, really it boils down to this. If you have a Christian perspective in life uh, in our media today in Canada, that is just not accepted. Because you, it's can, left. you can um, have a perspective that everything is the same and equal. But if you vary from that, that's a problem. And having said that, toast, right? having said that, you yeah. know what's nice? I love to see the fact that Sun Television has guys like Michael Corrin and guys. And who Esther are Levant. Esther. Yeah. Oh, that's right. He's they're, uh, yeah. They're allowed to express their opinion and they do it very differently than other media, and that's nice. And, and it's that. a different Canada now because we have a conservative prime minister, so he's not very he, conservative, he, just so you know. No? No. Came to Manitoba the other day. Yes. And I shot a lot of video of him and he seemed very pleasant. And he's Christian. Pleasant and Christian don't make him conservative, do they? Well, most, aren't most people no. who are uh, Christian Absolutely not. conservative? No? no. Not necessarily. Are you Being you're, a you're, conservative you're highly and a Christian, Christian have no. nothing in common. Yeah, I'm a Christian, but that, and I would classify myself as a conservative, but I know many Christian people who are not conservatives. I know many people who are New Democrats who are Christians. Really? Sure. So then, uh, then I'm, I'm, I'm wrong. But I think the political party thing today in Canada is a complete joke. So because Harper all they do, Natalie, Christian, uh, listen, right Natalie, right all they do today yeah. in Canada is buy your... They buy you one, for lack of a better term, I guess they buy your vote or they buy your approval with your own money. That's all they do. They well, take taxpayers' dollars and they that. put it into what they think you want. Yeah. You think that takes guts? That's a gutless form of government. Do something. Do something. I'll tell you what. Here's an idea. Yeah. Here's an idea for government to yeah. take on. Yeah. Why don't we have a revamping of the federal government employees' pension plan? So employees' pension plans at the federal government level are the same as they are at the private sector level. Okay. Let me tell you something. I saw a story the other day in Winnipeg Sun, I believe it was, that city of Winnipeg workers average, you know, a 5% increase in each of the last five years. Do you know what it's like in the real world, in retail, where you don't have a pension no paid for by the taxpayer? No increase. No increase. No cuts, increase. cuts, cuts. That's right. Everywhere. So are you saying You know what, if government wants to get involved in something, get involved in some fairness. Get involved in cutting the size of government. Who gives a rat's ass about what government workers think? They are paid for by your tax dollars and my tax dollars, Natalie, and I'm sick and tired of having to pay for everything they have. 